Good morning, class. Today we are going to look at eukaryote cells. But before we begin, let me explain the assignment and the directions. Eureka cells, what are those? Not eureka, eukaryotes. They're cells that have a nucleus and organelles and are surrounded by a membrane. You mean like plant and animal cells? Oh, I get it. Very good. Now, look through your microscopes at the slides of the animal cells. After you have studied each cell, draw a picture of the cell as you see it. Do we have to label our pictures too? Excellent question, Jenny. Yes, after you have drawn the picture of your cell, please label each part of the cell and describe the functions of each part. Are there any questions? Then you may begin. Man, this is going to be a lot of work. Draw this, label that, write this. Next thing you know, we're going to be doing full-blown dissections next week. Oh, and by the way, next week we will be dissecting frogs. So be yeah. prepared. Right, yeah. Frogs. <laughs> I don't think I understand much of this cell stuff at all. Oh, give me a break. Stuff isn't that bad. Actually, cells are pretty cool. Yeah, if it weren't for cells, you wouldn't be here. How do you figure? Because, duh, every living thing on Earth is composed of cells. Ryan, Jenny, Stephen, are we making progress? Yes. yes. Good, then you'd better get busy or you're going to run out of time. Come on, you guys, let's get to work. I gotta get my book. I'll be right back. Wow, you gotta see this cell. It looks so cool. I wanna see, I wanna see. Look! <laughs> Did you hear something? Yeah, or I thought I did. Wait, shh. Help. Did you hear that? Yeah, but where's it coming from? I don't know. Jenny, Steven, I'm in here. Look, in the microscope. Ryan, what are you doing in there? Help me, please. Hey, Ryan, that's really neat. How did you get in there, man? I don't know, but all I want to do is get out of here before one of these meteors knock me over. Yeah, what are those things? I don't know, and I don't want to find out. Get me out of here! Here, let me see. Oh, wait, I know what those are. Those are cells. <laughs> you mean to say I got cells flying at me? Yeah, actually you do. I can't believe this. This is so cool. Maybe I should go and get Mrs. Curry. No, we might get into trouble. Let's just keep this among us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, don't tell anyone. I know I'm not going to be able to live this down. You may not live through this at all if you don't watch out for those cells. Ryan, look out. It's coming straight at you. Move. Move. Can you see him? Where did he go? I, I'm in here, guys. How did I get in here? The cell kind of like just sucked me in. Well, I think he just passed through the cell membrane. Cell membrane? Is that the stuff I'm yeah. stepping in? No, no, that sticky stuff, it's the, the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is the jelly-like substance where molecules are broken down to produce energy and other molecules are built up. Yeah, the cell membrane is a thin layer around the cell which holds the cytoplasm and all the organelles in place. Well, I'm obviously not an organelle. How did I pass through the membrane without ripping it? Well, according to my book, it's because cell membranes are semi-permeable. Semi-permanent? No. Oh, great! I'm gonna be in here forever! No, semi-permeable. Perm? Oh, no, I don't need a perm. My hair's just fine, thanks. Not perm. A semi-permeable membrane. It's a membrane that only allows certain particles to pass through it. Good. Because if I got in with no problems, then I should be able to get back out. Yo, watch it there, buddy. Who's that? It's me, the cell membrane. But you can call me the gatekeeper. The gatekeeper? Okay, if you're the gatekeeper, then uh, tell me why I'm in here. I thought you were a lipid. Lip? I didn't give you any lip. Lip? Not lip. Lipid. Lipids are organic compounds, like fats and waxes, that can pass easily through me. So all you do is let nutrients pass through you to get into the cell? Nah. 
I export nutrients to other parts of the body and let waste and unwanted particles pass through me to leave the cell as well. Well, in that case, don't call me Rye, call me Mr. Waste so I can get out of here. Uh, not so fast. The big man says that you're not going anywhere yet. The big man? <laughs> Who's that? The Nucleus. He's the boss of, uh, well, of, of our world. The Nucleus? Oh, well, I don't care who he is. You better care, kid, because he's the big man. Well, it was sort of like mind over matter. In a sense. Hey, speaking of matter, you are matter at the moment. Matter? Yep, in one of its smallest forms. Well, you see, that's my problem. Outside the cell, I got a life. I hang out with friends, play sports, you know, just basically live. Good, good. You can live with us a little then. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. No way. I gotta find this nucleus guy so I can leave. Show me the way to him. Oh, that's easy. Just pass by the cytoskeleton, hang a lot at the endoplasmic reticulum and ribosomes, continue straight past the Golgi apparatus and vesicle, turn right at the lysosome, and when you see the mitochondria and the centriole, it'll be straight ahead. It's the largest organelle in the cell. Y you can't miss it. What? Yeah. Right. That was a lot of help. Don't worry, Ryan. We'll help you get there. Yeah, we'll get you out of there. Don't worry. Well, I hope so. I have to get to the nucleus. Where am I headed? I can't see where I'm going very well. Watch out! You're going to run into those long, thin tubes. Where? Where? Straight ahead. Don't get tangled up in them. What are they? I don't know. I'm looking. I'm looking. Well, hurry up! They're all around me now! Relax. What do you think? I'm gonna bite you or something? Give me a break. What? Hmm? Y you can talk too? Yeah. What's your name again? My full name is Cytoskeleton. What? It rhymes with Cytoskeleton. But since the sight of a skeleton can sometimes be scary, well, I usually go by the name of Cy. Okay, okay, okay. Cy, can you help me get to the nucleus? You want my help? Yeah. Um, yeah. All I ever do is help. Help you, help yourself, <laughs> and no one appreciates me. Okay, okay. Sorry. I'd really appreciate it if you'd help me get out of here. I was. How many organelles do you know that would move through the cytoplasm and not complain like I did? Huh? Tell me. Well, I'll tell you. None. I guess you really upset her, Ryan. Oops! Oh! You finally noticed! What should I do? I don't want to upset her even more. <laughs> hmm. Ask her what her job in the cell is. Try and make her feel important. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, Sai, I realize that uh, you help out the cell. Uh, what exactly do you do? Finally, someone who cares. As a cytoskeleton, I provide support, strength, and shape to the cell. Wow, you must be pretty strong then, huh? Yes, very strong. Our long, thin structures are made of a special substance. Want to guess what it is? Is this some kind of joke? Yeah. Of course. What else would you expect from a girl known as a cytoskeleton? Here's a clue. I believe in young people. Huh? That makes me protein. Protein, get it? <laughs> ah, very funny. As you were saying... Ah, uh, yes. As I was saying, our long, thin structures are made of protein. Protein gives us the strength that we need to support and maintain the shape of the cell. Protein? Well, how about using some of that protein to help me get to the nucleus? <gasps> You're going where? I told you, the nucleus. The cell membrane won't let me out until the big guy says so. Oh, that could be a problem. What do you mean? Sometimes he's not so friendly. He has this reputation for being the control freak of the cell. Oh, no! Not a pleasant organelle, if I must say so. But being the helpful organelle that I am, huh? I guess I'll help you. That's okay, Ryan. We'll deal with the nucleus when we get there. Yeah. Yeah, don't sweat it. Let's just see what's coming up next. Here's Quick Quiz. Wow! <laughs> it looks like Ryan has quite a journey ahead of him. But before we continue, let's take a quick breather. <laughs> ah, okay. Now let's see if you understand everything we've covered so far. I'm going to ask you a question and give you three choices for answers. You pick the one that you feel best answers the question. Are you ready? 
All right, here it goes. The cytoskeleton aids the cell in the following areas except A, size, B, support, or C, shape. Take a second to think about it. You think you got an answer? Well, we know that the cytoskeleton provides support, shape, and strength to the cell. Therefore, the answer is A. The cytoskeleton does not determine the size of the cell. All right, guys. Let's go back and see how Ryan's doing. Okay, Ryan, you're almost there. Almost where? You mean those big blob things ahead? Well, they're not exactly blob things. I think it's the endoplasmic reticulum. The endoplasmic reticulus? What? No, no, no. The endoplasmic reticulum? Please, don't insult me. There's nothing plastic or ridiculous about me. Yeah. Wow, this is too cool. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to offend anyone, or, or anything in your case. I'm just trying to get out of here. Well, I'm sorry I can't help you there. <sighs> Figures, good for nothing. Hey, Oops. hey, hey. Good for nothing, is that what you said? Yeah. I'll have you know that I'm good for a lot of things. Yeah. Actually, I'm pretty important. How do you... Hang on, Ryan. Let her finish. Yeah. Well, at least your friends have some manners. <laughs> Sorry. I guess this whole trip is just stressing me out a bit. Stress? You think you have stress? <laughs> you don't know stress. Let me tell you about stress. So, do you think she's a little stressed? Shh. So your job's uh, pretty tough, huh? Uh, tough? Yeah. You don't know the half of it. I am responsible for synthesizing macromolecules in the cell, like proteins, lipids, and complex carbohydrates. I also have to separate molecules destined for the cytoplasm from those intended for transport to other sites, and I have to transport proteins to various places in the cell. You know, all this work can really wear an endoplasmic reticulum out. I'm sorry. Ouch! Oh, no. What are those bumps all over you? Oh, those things? Guess. Um, I haven't got a clue. I know. I found it in the book. They're called ribosomes. Uh, okay. Ribosomes. Uh, what do they do? The ribosomes synthesize protein in the cell. So what do they do with it after it's been synthesized? Well, after the ribosomes synthesize the protein, the protein enters my channels, and goes to various locations in the cell that need it. Or it's exported to other parts of the body. So do all endoplasmic reticula have uh, ribosomes that cover them? No. Do you see my cousin over there? Yeah, but I don't see any ribosomes on her. Exactly. We call her smoothie because her skin's so smooth. So you see, there are two types of endoplasmic reticula. Two! Yeah, there are rough endoplasmic reticula, like me, and smooth endoplasmic reticula, like my cousin. Smooth endoplasmic reticula do not have ribosomes on their surface. So, what do they do then? The smooth endoplasmic reticula synthesize lipids, which are organic compounds like fats and waxes, while ribosomes break down proteins. Speaking of which, I'm surprised she's not over here trying to synthesize you. You kind of look like a lipid. That's what the cell membrane said, too. Why do you all think I'm a lipid? Don't be upset. It's actually a compliment in our world. Lipids are required for the growth of cell membranes and for the membranes of organelles in the cell. In that case, I guess it's okay. So ribosomes are only located on rough endoplasmic reticula, right? Not quite. While ribosomes are found on rough endoplasmic reticula, they can also be found in the cytoplasm. Oh, cool! There are ribosomes in the cytoplasm. But what good are they? They synthesize protein and pass the protein directly into the cytoplasm. Okay, so let me see if I got this right. Ribosomes synthesize proteins, which are then transported to various parts of the cell. They are found in the cytoplasm or on the outside of the rough endoplasmic reticula, right? Yeah, very good. Okay. 
and, and the smooth endoplasmic reticula do not have ribosomes on them, and their job is to synthesize lipids. Excellent, Ryan, but really, I must get back to work. Good luck on your voyage to see Mr. Nucleus. And by the way, when or if you get to meet him, be very, very humble. He can be quite irritable at times. But anyway, I have to go now. So many molecules to process in so little time. Bye! But, but wait, where do I go? What do I do? Great. Now which way do I go? Hang on a second. It looks like you're heading towards another endoplasmic reticulum. Not another one? Here, let me see. No, it's not an endoplasmic reticulum. It's, uh, here, I'll spell it. G-O-L-G-I apparatus. A gold guy apparatus? Awesome! I'm gonna get rich in this cell! <laughs> not a gold guy apparatus, a Golgi apparatus. What's that? Well, it says that there sets a flattened, slightly curved sacs that look similar to endoplasmic reticulum. Yep, this must be it. Who are you calling a flattened, slightly curved sack? What are you doing here? We don't get much company in this neck of the cell. Are you a lipid? Because if you're a lipid, you don't belong here. You belong... I am not a lipid! Does everybody in this cell hear me? I am not a lipid! Easy there. She was just kidding. See what you did? We hardly ever get any company, and you almost scared him off. Oh, that's okay. Besides, who are you? You're not the Golgi apparatus. Jenny, Stephen, I thought you said that this was a Golgi apparatus. That's what the book said. I'm the Golgi apparatus. He's the vesicle. Why are you guys together if you're separate organelles? I guess that you could say that we kind of hang out together. We're bodies. What do you mean? Do you see all these layers? Yeah. Well, these layers are a complex stack of interconnecting membranes that make up the whole Golgi apparatus. And I form on the ends of the top layer of the Golgi apparatus. Yeah, he just kind of pops out and does his own thing. Uh, oh, hold, hold, hold on. I don't get it. What do you guys do exactly? Here, yeah, you go ahead. No, 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 no. You tell the chap. No, really, I insist. You. Will one of you just explain it to me? Oh, 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 sorry. As the Golgi apparatus in the cell, it is my responsibility to collect, modify, and package substances manufactured by the cell. What kind of substances? Don't say lipids. No, I mostly deal with proteins and other newly synthesized substances in the cell. And that's where I come in. Ooh, what do you mean? my job to store and transport these substances from the Golgi apparatus to various locations within the cell, including the cell membrane where the nutrients are exported to other cells. Seems like I'm always on the move. Hey, want to hear a poem I wrote? Uh, okay. Sure. <clears throat> okay, ready? We're vesicles, we're vehicles. We serve our Golgi. She's a great Galgi. We're movers and shakers. We're truly not fakers. We're here, we're there, we're everywhere. Got lots of nerve and we're here to serve. Ain't no bore, just got a store. More and more and more and more, I'm not mystical, just a plain old vesicle. Cool poem. Maybe I can hitch a ride with you to the membrane and you can get me out of here. Sorry, I'd like to help you out, but as you can see, I, I don't have any room. I'm full of synthesized proteins. Oh, come on. You can fit me in there somewhere, and then you can sneak me out of the cell. Not past the gatekeeper, I can't. He may be semi-permeable, but he's strict. Oh, lad, you don't mess with the gatekeeper. He does whatever the big boss wants. Yeah, you know the... Oh, I know. The nucleus. Yeah, I already heard about him. Let me see if I understand all this. You collect, modify, and package substances that are manufactured by the cell. You are correct and you form at the ends of the top layer of the Golgi apparatus and you transport substances to the cell membrane and other parts of the cell. You got it. By the way though, I'm late. I must get going and I'm not going to make it to the gate in time to drop off these synthesized proteins. And the gatekeeper hates it when I'm late. He can get mean. He might mess me up if you know what I mean. Then I'd be a mesicle instead of a vesicle. You guys are all jokers around here, huh? 
After all the work we do, we deserve to have some fun. <gasps> Speaking of work, I've got some substances waiting to be packaged, so I must leave you now, Ryan. Good luck and cheers. I hope for your sake that the nucleus is in a good mood today. He can be awfully scary when he's in a bad mood. See you, Ryan. Gosh, these organelles are really busy today. Yeah, could you imagine if they just stopped doing their work? It would affect our whole body. I can't even think about it. Uh, hey, you two. I've got other things on my mind, like getting out of here. And besides, I think I'm almost to the nucleus. What do you guys see coming up next? Quick Quiz is back! Hi, guys. It's me again, Quick Quiz. Before we see what's next, let's take a quick brain break. You guys still with us? Okay. Well, you know how it works. Here comes the question. And you pick the best answer. Here it goes. Which of the following organelles is responsible for collecting, modifying, and packaging substances manufactured by the cell? A, the cytoplasm. B, the Golgi apparatus. Or C, the endoplasmic reticulum. Take a second to think about it. You think you got an answer? Let's see. The cytoplasm is the jelly-like substance where molecules are broken down to produce energy and other molecules are built up. Endoplasmic reticulum synthesizes macromolecules and transports proteins to various places in the cell. So therefore, the answer is B, the Golgi apparatus. The Golgi apparatus is responsible for collecting, modifying, and packaging substances manufactured by the cell. So did you get it right? Great. Let's go back to Ryan, Jenny, and Steven. And see what's coming up next. You guys see anything? Um, yeah. Oh, yuck. What? What? Let me take a look. Wow, whatever it is, it's eating one of the other organelles. What? Oh, great! An eating organelle! Just what I need! <sighs> I hope it's not a man-eating organelle. What are you? If you need to be digested, you're going to have to wait until I finish this worn-out mitochondria. No, 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 no. Uh, I'm not waiting to be digested. I'm just trying to get to the nucleus. Good. Because for a minute there, I thought that you were a lipid that didn't get synthesized by the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Not quite. Besides, what are you? I'm a lysosome. Lysosome? I digest things. Digest things? Like what? And how? Well, inside of my membrane are digestive enzymes. I use these digestive enzymes to break down worn-out organelles, debris, and large ingested particles from within the cell. You digest old organelles? Gross! Au contraire. Organelles are a delectable treat, sort of like caviar. Ugh. Hey, if it wasn't for me, the organelles, debris, and particles would just float around in the cell and take up space. The cell would be a mess. Well, I can understand that, but it's still kind of weird. Yes, it can be. When the worn-out organelles see me coming, they know it's the end of the line for them, and that can be unpleasant. Some of them don't want to go without a fight. <sighs> Can't say that I blame them. Well, sometimes it's not a very good job, but some organelles got to do it. Just imagine if someone didn't collect your garbage. Well, I'm nothing more than a garbage person. The difference is, I eat the stuff. Yum, yum. So, all you do is travel around the cell and digest worn-out organelles, debris, and ingested particles. Hmm. You must get full eventually, though. Yeah, I do get very full. Sometimes, I feel like I'm going to burst. Did he say he was? It's okay. You can all calm down. I'm not going to burst. It was a false alarm. Whoa. What happened? Why'd they all freak out? Because I said the magic word. What word? Burst. See what I mean? It's okay. Please, go back to work. I'm fine. Nothing's going to happen, really. They get into such an uproar whenever I say that. Why? You remember when I said I have digestive enzymes in my membrane? Yeah, but what does that have to do with anything? It has everything to do with it. You see, 
If my membrane were to break, all of the digestive enzymes would leak out into the cell. Huh. And that would be pretty bad, huh? Yeah. Really bad. The digestive enzymes could destroy the whole cell. Destroy the whole cell? Whoa! Yep. That's right. Destroy it all. End life in the cell as we know it. Kaboom! The show's over. The end of... Okay, okay, okay. I get it. So if your membrane were to burst... What you did? False alarm again, folks. Sorry. He did it this time, not me. S sorry. Let me rephrase that. If your membrane were to break, then all the digestive enzymes would leak out and digest the whole cell. Yes, exactly. Hey, what is that over there? Is that a worn-out organelle I see trying to sneak past me? He's toast. That is toast with caviar. <laughs> oh, sorry, Ryan. I gotta go. Wait, 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 wait. What am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go? Relax, Ryan. You're on the right track. You're almost there. Yeah, just hang a right and keep going. I'm going. I wonder what kind of weirdo I'm going to meet next. Quick quiz. Hang on there. Let's take a quick break. Okay. I give the question, and you give the answer. Here it goes. Sacs filled with digestive enzymes that travel around the cell and eliminate worn-out organelles are called A, vesicles, B, ribosomes, or C, lysosomes. Take a second to think about it. You think you got the answer? Well, let's see. Vesicles transport and store substances like proteins. Ribosomes synthesize proteins. The answer is C. Lysosomes contain digestive enzymes and eliminate worn out organelles, debris, and ingested particles. Did you get it right? Well, great. Moving on. Come here! Is that a red flashing sign I see? Oh, you see it too? I thought I was imagining things. Let me see. What does it say, Ryan? Powerhouse. Oh no, not another organelle that thinks he's all that. No, wait a second. I think I saw something in my book about that. Here it is. It says that the mitochondria is also called the powerhouse of the cell. Hypochondria? What, does this guy think he's sick all the time or something? No, mito. Mitochondria. It, it, it kind of looks like a big sausage. It doesn't feel like a sausage, though. It actually feels pretty strong. Well, that's because I have two membranes. Whoa, you startled me. Oh, sorry. You have two membranes? Yes, I have a double-layered membrane. The inner layer, as you can see, is arranged into complex folds called crustae. These folds increase my surface area. Uh, are those folds used for something special? Special? Yeah, actually they're special. You see, inside of these folds are specialized enzymes that trap energy from sugars that are broken down. Sugars? Man, you're my kind of organelle. I love candy bars, especially ones with the caramel and the peanuts. And... Uh, hang on, now before you get carried away, let me explain. You know, I don't sit around all day eating candy bars. You said that you use sugars, right? Oh, I do, but I use fatty acids also. Fatty acids? For what? I use sugars and fatty acids to generate energy for the cell. Now, because I generate energy, they call me the powerhouse of the cell. Just think of me as the mighty chondria. <laughs> Get it? Got it. Uh, uh, I'm beginning to feel a bit strange, as if I'm about to become uh, another me. What? Another you? Jenny, Steven, what's going on? Uh, I don't know. Oh, wait, it's splitting apart. Yeah, it is splitting apart. Let me see if I can find something in the book about this. Well, hurry up! It may look really interesting from up there, but from down here, it's not. Okay, okay. Wait, here it is. What'd you find? Hello there, people! Let's pick up the speed! It says that the mitochondria are self-replicating. Self-replicating? What do you mean? Well, according to this, the mitochondria grow and divide to increase their numbers to meet the needs in the cells. Yeah, and it says they divide by simply splitting in two. Whoa! It's true, then. You really do self-replicate. Yes, it's true. I mean, why not? I get a little lonely now and then. It's no big deal to generate another me. It's 
Great to have more company. Weird! How come you split in two, but the whole cell didn't? Yeah, but we use our own DNA. Because we have our own DNA, we do not rely on the cell for division. We can divide ourselves. Man, I wish I could do that. I'd go out and hang out with friends while I left the other me at home to do homework and maybe some chores. Hey there, don't get carried away. We really have serious work to do, energy to make, organelles to see, and places to go. Okay, okay. You organelles can be so touchy sometimes. So let me see if I got all this. As the mitochondria, it is your job to generate energy for the cell from sugars and fatty acids. Oh, yes, yes very, very good. good. And you can also self-replicate because you have your own DNA. Excellent. See, that wasn't hard to remember. Yeah, I guess I have learned a lot throughout my trip in the cell so far. Who's that over there? Oh, that organelle? That's the centriol. Centriol? Yes, the centriol. We don't really care for the centriol. It's pretty close to the nucleus, if you know what I mean. Yeah, all she does is hang out next to him all day long. She hangs out with the nucleus? Oh, man, I have to go see her. Maybe she can help me talk to the nucleus so I can get out of here. I'll see you guys later. Uh, see you, Ryan. Hey, hey, I guess we got a split, too, huh? <laughs> Straight ahead, Ryan. You can't miss it. Uh, excuse me, Miss Central. Uh, are you there? Of course I'm here. Where am I gonna go to? Uh, yeah, I guess you guys don't get out of the cell much, huh? No, we don't. Was that you over there talking to the mitochondrias? Yeah, that was me. Oh, I thought you were a lost lipid. Hey now, what were you doing over there talking to them? They're always picking on me and my sister. They don't like us because we hang out here with the nucleus. Hey, hey, don't don't cry. It's okay. Don't let them bother you. I'm just tired of y'all picking on us. They think that we get special treatment because we're located next to the nucleus. I, I can barely understand you. It, it's okay. Just, just calm down. They don't understand that we're here because this is where we do our job. What job is that? It's our job to organize specific cytoskeleton called microtubules in the cell. You organize the cytoskeleton? Hmm, that doesn't sound too hard. Well, that isn't all that we do. We also play an important part in cell division. Cell division? Oh, don't tell me you're going to split apart like the mitochondria did. No, I don't split apart. You see, when the cell divides, it's our job to migrate to the poles of the cell to assist in division. So you don't split apart then. You just move to opposite ends of the cell, right? You got it. Organelles, prepare for division. Oh, Ryan, I got to start migrating, so I really must go. If y'all need to see the nucleus, you better get on it like mud on a pig, because he's going to be very busy. Busy? Why? Ask the nucleus. A ask the nucleus what? Ask him about the big M word. The big M word? Oh, great. Great. That's, that's perfect. That's all I need. More complications in my life right now. Okay, guys. The nucleus is just up ahead. I'm kind of nervous. It'll be okay. Think positive. Yeah, he can't be that bad. <laughs> we'll see soon enough. Here's Quick Quiz. Before we meet the nucleus, let's do one last quick question. Okay, the final question is, centrioles, A, are located next to the nucleus in the cell, B, organize cytoskeleton called microtubules, or C, migrate to opposite ends of the cell during division. Take a second to think about it. You think you got an answer? In this case, all three answers are correct. How'd you guys do? Excellent. Well, that's all for me. So now let's go back to see how Ryan's going to get out of this cell. Cell! Cell! Uh, this must be it. Who goes there? Um, it, it, it's me. It, it, it's Ryan. Uh, I just, I just want to get out of here if, it, if it's no bother to you. You don't leave here until I say so. B but, sir, I really... Come a bit closer. Let me have a good look at you. Are you a lipid? 
I am not a lipid. Hey, I know who you are. You're the one that's been wandering around the cell getting all of the organelles in an uproar. Before long, the organelles will be rebelling. Just what do you think you are getting my organelles so worked up like that? Uh, um, uh, no one, sir. As I said, I'm just trying to get out of here. Uh, hey, how'd you know I was talking to all the other organelles? Well, you have a lot to learn about me. I know everything that goes on in this cell. I'm the boss. That's why they call me the control center of the cell. Control center? I heard you were the control freak. Control freak? Which organelle said that? If I find out, I'll send a lysosome over to digest them. I am not a control freak. E easy there. Uh, I was just kidding. Uh, none of the other organelles uh, said that about you. What did they say then? Oh, they just told me what they do and told me a few jokes. Jokes? I hate jokes. Life in this cell is a serious matter, you know. Hmm. Matter. Matter. <laughs> matter. Get it? As in, what's the matter? <laughs> He's nuts, too. I heard that. Buddy, do you know who I am or not? You're the nucleus. You're the control center of the cell. What else is there to know? Well, it's much more complex than that. Not only do I have to direct the organelles in the cell, I'm also responsible for the activities that take place inside of my nucleolus. Nucleolus? What's that? Do you see that smaller structure inside of me? Yeah. What is it? That's the nucleolus. Nucleolus? That produces ribosomes. Is that all you do? I wish. I also have to control protein synthesis in the cytoplasm and keep track of the DNA inside of my membrane. Those DNA, little rascals, they've gotten swelled heads lately. They think they're so special. They're in the news all the time, you know, all this hoopla about cloning and duplication. What's the big deal? One sheep, two sheep, three sheep? Bah! It is a big deal. What if they clone people? They better not. If I have more than one of you to deal with, I'll go out of my nucleus head. Hey, here's a clone joke. How come two of you would make a yummy sandwich? I don't know. Because two Ryans would be a rye on rye. A rye bread sandwich. Ah, uh, ah, uh, very funny. Anyway, what do you know about DNA? Ah, uh, a little bit. It's the stuff that carries genetic messages, right? Yes, exactly. I see that you've learned a lot. The DNA inside of my membrane is organized along with proteins into a mass called chromatin. Chromatin? So chromatin is a mass of DNA and protein? Yes. However, when the cell divides, the chromatin condenses and forms thick structures that are called chromosomes. These chromosomes carry the genetic code to the new cells during division. Speaking of which, hang on a second, Ryan. Attention, Attention organelles. Mitosis will begin in one, I repeat, one minute. Mitosis? What's that? Mitosis. Cell division. The big M. Oh, one of the organelles told me to ask you about that. Good. Mitosis is when body cells divide and replicate. In mitosis, there are many different phases. Different phases? Uh, like what? Let's see. There's prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. I, I'm so excited. Prophase, anaphase, telephone what? Not telephone. Telophase. 45, 45 seconds. seconds. I, I repeat, repeat. 45, 45 seconds. seconds. Uh, 45 seconds to, uh, uh mitosis, uh, it's cell division, right? 30 seconds. What exactly happens when you split? Well, it's a bit complex, but basically everything in the cell splits too. Me, you. Me, split. Yes, sounds exciting, huh? <laughs> exciting. Jenny, Steven, get me out of here now. I'm about to split. 20, 20 seconds. seconds. Wait! I'd love to, Ryan, but mitosis waits for no one. I mean, no cell. But hey, I'm really not such a bad guy. 
I've just got this reputation for being mean. Uh, you're not mean. You're kind, and you're generous, and you're caring, and you're sweet, and, and, and... Gee, really? No one's told me that before. So, I guess if you want to split, not in two, then you can split now. <laughs> Are you serious? I can leave? Yes, of course. What, did you think I was going to keep you here? Now, if you were a lipid, maybe. Okay, 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 okay. Don't get on this lipid thing. Uh, how do I get out of here? Just go back the way you came. Oh, here. Take this pass. Without it, you'll never get out. Hey, thanks a lot, man. You know, you're really not that bad of a guy. Thanks, but I already knew that. Besides, you'd better leave quickly. We're going to be very busy here in just a few moments. Ten. Nine. Eight. See ya. Go, Ryan. Run faster. You're almost to the cell membrane. Straight ahead. Jump! Ah! Now! Mrs. Curry, the nurse is on her way. Thank you. Let's just try and keep him calm. Ryan, wake up. Come on, Ryan. Say something and stop trying to kick me. Ah! Where? What? Jenny! Steven! You're here! Oh, thank you guys for your help. I wouldn't have been able to get out of the cell if it wasn't for you guys. Out from where? What are you talking about? Jenny, you remember? The organelle eating lysosome. And the central that was crying. Ryan, I don't know what you're talking about. Ryan, the nurse is here. She'll take care of you. Well, it appears as though you've hit your head pretty hard. But, but I was there. I, I promise I was. You guys believe me, right? Sure you were. In the cell, right? Uh, where else would you have gone? Uh, Ryan, what's that in your hand? You see? I was in the cell. Ryan, I'm so glad you're okay. I'll take that pass if you don't mind. As far as I know, we have only one hall pass around here. Who's a cell pass? A cell pass! Good, Good luck out, out there, Ryan. Ryan. Have fun with your science studies. By the way, next time you visit us, be sure to bring two of you for the mitosis adventure. See ya! Oh, wait, it's splitting. Eukaryotes are cells that have a nucleus and are surrounded by organelles. Oh my God. <laughs>